Hey Virgo, what is going on? I hope you are super well. Um, my name, I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at the cards. You have the Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands like that. So you're sailing off towards a new beginning here. Um, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a love reading for September, Virgo. But it's a timeless reading, you know, so whenever you happen to find this will be when the messages are relevant for you. So with the Six of Swords, you might be moving out of a bad mindset or moving away from a, a bad situation. Um, towards a passionate new beginning with someone, Virgo. You are very welcome here. Uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. You know, I really appreciate you taking the time to check it out. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that so much. <laughs> I would appreciate that so much as well, Virgo. Um, so what are we going to start with here? I actually want to pull one of these guys for you. Okay, what's the message for Virgo, please? What is the message for Virgo? This is one of the, this is the power of surrender cards. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. I feel like you guys get this card every time. Um, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. What else can you say about that, Virgo? Pretty clear message. Uh, so what's currently going on, let me just, sorry, OCD that candle, <laughs> uh, what's going on for Virgo in love please? So time for you to start speaking up for yourself Virgo. What's going on for Virgo in love, the two of cups, you have a soulmate here. The cards that I can see here, look, you have the Ace of Cups poking out here, new love coming in, you have the Fool, a new beginning, you have the Ten of Wands putting down a heavy burden, you have the Four of Wands, commitment coming in, you know, the Two of Cups, this is, like I said, it's soulmate, okay? If you don't believe in soulmates, think of it as like a best friend that you have known in previous lifetimes, okay? If you don't believe in that, just, you know, it's someone coming in that's going to feel like a best friend. You know, you guys are going to want the same things. Um, you think the same way. You know, it's equal give and take. Because you're obviously... Your needs are not being met where you are, Virgo. Like, you're giving up, you're sacrificing your own happiness to make other people happy. Whereas with this new person coming in... I'm assuming it's a new person... Um, there's like equal give and take. You have the world card. So you're closing down some kind of cycle here, which is, it looks like this is what you're surrendering. You're closing down this people pleasing thing. Uh, I just did Gemini's reading and they had that world card too, closing down a massive cycle. So maybe you've got Gemini in your chart or you're dealing with a Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me, Virgo. My throat is going. <laughs> That's the throat chakra. Um, if you want to know more about the throat chakra because speaking up for yourself it, it's it's focused mainly on the throat chakra okay head over to my other channel there's a bunch of free stuff about the the chakras there the links in the description box okay you've been feeling stuck and i feel like you're going to be moving away from that so there's some kind of situation that's kept you stuck um you've be, there's been indecision here with you you have the Seven of Cups and the Star. So the Seven of Cups, you know, often talks about like not really knowing what to do for the best, not like being confused about the way forward. But the, the Star is healing. So you're healing this confusion and it looks like you're moving on from something with the Page of Swords. What else is going on for Virgo, please? What is going on for Virgo? Okay, I'll just take that card. You have judgment. 
So I'll have to clarify that because it can mean a couple of things. Um, clarify the Two of Cups, please. There's, that's a lot of cards. Um, clarify the Two of Cups, please. Okay. The Three of Cups. Okay, so you have the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. Okay, let's see what else comes out. You have the Hanged Man at the bottom of the deck, which talks about like a period of stillness. Gem and I had that come up a lot too. There's been some kind of period of stillness here, like lack of movement forward, and Spirit was waiting for you to see something, to get some kind of new perspective. Um, clarify the world. I'm going to further clarify this Three of Cups, Two of Cups, because again, it can mean a couple of things. There's, it looks like a decision. Clarify the world, please. I feel like you maybe just didn't want to make a decision about something. The Two of Swords and the King of Swords. You know, the Two of Swords, it's, it's kind of like, la 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 la. <laughs> you can't make me. I don't want to think about that. You can't make me make a decision. Um, and with this world card, it could be like, especially with the death card, like you may be having to make a decision about ending a relationship. Because it looks like to be with this soulmate that makes you really happy. Um, and with the King of Swords, you know, it's like you've been trying to be logical about it. You've been trying to think it through and like, you know, decide from a place of logic what you're going to do here. Five of Pentacles wanted to pop out. This talks about feeling left out in the cold. Feel like where you are, you feel left out in the cold. Um, the King of Wands. I'm going to clarify that. Clarify the Seven of Cups first, please. Okay, this decision has really been weighing you down. Like, I think you've had a really hard time making this decision. Also, for some of you, like, you may have already met someone new, for some of you. And maybe they're a bit of an unknown quantity, like you don't know if you should end a relationship to be with this person. They might be a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or have that in their chart somewhere. It kind of looks like there's someone waiting to come in, whether you've met them or not. You see how he's just hanging around, <laughs> kind of waiting? It's like they're waiting to see what you're going to do here. Uh, I just, Ace of Swords, let me just reshuffle and um, clarify the star okay you have the star with the death card there's been some kind of separation here or there's been some kind of um period of inaction clarify this page of swords Well, that's pretty clear. Um, you have the Ten of Swords. I'm going to take that actually. You have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you appear to be walking away from. See, the, the, it's a timeline thing though. Like People are going to be on different times here. Some of you may have already walked away from a connection. Th this may be something that you're going through now. It may be something happening in a few months or a few weeks or something. It just looks like there's an ending to, with the Ten of Pentacles, like, like an ending to a long-term commitment. And it, you know, it's funny, I did Gemini's reading and I did them in a random order. Um, I pulled some cards to see, like, I used these cards, like, to see which one I should do next and Virgo came out next. Um, and Gemini was leaving a situation behind and Gemini's new person got these cards, like Gemini's new person was ending something 
to be with Gemini, so maybe you're dealing with a Gemini, but it looks like you may be ending a long-term connection or a marriage and moving on to someone else, maybe this fire sign. Because the person that you're with, like the Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like you're not getting the love that you need from them. Like they're not compassionate and they're not thoughtful and they're not sweet and they're not sensitive. Like you, you're not getting your needs met. And clarify judgment, please. That's a lot of spirit. Um, clarify, okay. <laughs> okay, so there's a new beginning. You see how he's, you're moving away, right? You might be moving away from an Aquarius for some of you. You're moving away from like the confusion and possibly a long-term commitment towards a rebirth. It could be a reconciliation for some of you, like some of you may already know this new person, um, but there's a new beginning here that you're feeling very, very called towards. There's definitely been a delay with the hanged man. Definitely been a delay here. Probably on both sides, you know? Yeah, see? <laughs> Seven of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. The Page of... The, the Seven of Pentacles talks about waiting, uh, investing in something, sowing the seeds, taking your time, doing it right. And the Page of Swords talks about delayed news. So I feel like this has all been delayed, okay? But it was supposed to be delayed, Virgo, okay? Because you and this other person had to be in alignment with each, with each other. Okay. Clarify this Three of Cups. <clears throat> Please, clarify this Three of Cups. Clarify the Three of Cups, please. The Ten of Cups. Let me just get one more this three of cups a bit more please you just get it's I was wondering if it was a third party I mean you might be in a third party but this represents happiness Virgo like you have such a happy connection coming towards you two of cups three of cups the ten of cups the sun this new person they're gonna make you so happy and I'm saying you because you're leaving something behind to go towards this new person, okay? Um, they could have a little Leo in their chart, this new person, or they could be a Leo. There's dating, you're gonna be dating this person, but it's a celebration, it's gonna be something that makes you really happy. Really, really happy, really fun. Um, you know, total emotional commitment for those of you looking for marriage and babies that is here with this person, you know, twice <laughs> with the sun and the ten of cups. Um, you're just going to be so happy. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough, how happy you're going to be. What is this, um, star? I feel like there's an ending that's going to be very healing for you. And I know that sounds strange to say, but because it's all tied in with this people pleasing you've obviously been in some kind of situation where you staying there was kind of you were just doing it to make other people happy or the other person happy and you leaving is actually it's it's very healing for you um clarify the star maybe you've been putting it off because it's been kind of, a, you know, with the Ten of Swords, it might be tricky to get yourself out of it, right? But that's the thing. Um, <laughs> if this is a good situation for the other person where you're just helping them and giving them, you know, support and love 
and they're just taking like they're not going to want you to leave because that's a great situation for them do you know what i mean um but the the star with the emperor i mean you might have an aries coming in there might be an ending and then you have like this person who's a wish fulfillment coming in that's like maybe aries kind of leadership energy um but this seems to me it's like you're kind of leveling up by say like putting your foot down and being like no no i'm not doing this anymore like i know what i want i want this new person or like i want the chance to be happy i'm not happy here you know what i mean i'm just done like there's someone new coming in, in that's going to unbreak your heart yeah this person you have the star this person's a wish fulfillment you have the star on top of the star they could obviously have aquarius in their chart uh, they may be kind of magical to you. That's just what always puts me in mind. Like, see the way she's just a very magical looking star. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's like very free flowing energy with this person. You know, you, <clears throat> excuse me, Virgo, you're not going to feel trapped. Maybe you felt trapped before. Um, yeah, there's that Ten of Swords again. Oh my god. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Tower, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. And I see you headed towards this Queen of Cups here. Um, she's in reverse so that you guys are facing each other, okay? So I feel like you're headed towards this Queen of Cups who is like facing you, okay? Um, there's definitely an ending. You may see, I think... With these two coming out together, the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords, um, like you may be preparing yourself for the backlash against ending this current connection, right? Because it may be like, you know, the poop hitteth the fan <laughs> kind of thing. But I, I see it just collapsing with the tower because it wasn't meant to stay up as the thing, Virgo. Because it's not loving where you are, right? And I see, you know, with the Eight of Cups, it talks about, you know, taking your cup of love away from somewhere where it wasn't being appreciated and going towards someone who will appreciate it, this Two of Cups, right? This soulmate, best friend energy. It's in reverse because this is the person you're heading towards, okay? You're heading towards this kind of Two of Cups, Sun, Ten of Cups, happiness. And it's this Queen of Cups, like what you weren't getting in the other relationship is what you're getting with this person. So they could be, um, they could also have, they could be cancer. The new person could have some cancer in their chart. And if you're a cross watcher and you're like, oh my God, I don't have cancer in my chart. Check it again, because you might actually have cancer in like a, an important house. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like this is who you're headed towards. There's an ending and you're headed towards this queen of cups here. Um, you're, you're a little wounded, <laughs> you're a bit of a wounded warrior here, okay? You have a bit of a fear of rejection, you shouldn't, <laughs> okay? Um, let's talk about this King of Wands, tell me about this King of Wands, <clears throat> excuse me, tell me about this King of Wands please. That is so many cards. Um, tell me about this King of Wands. The Four of Cups. <laughs> There's a couple of things here. Um, this person may have already made you an offer, but you were in a relationship at the time and you had to say no. You may also feel, um, you may have a little bit of a fear of rejection from this person, okay? Tell me about this King of Wands. <laughs> Half the cards went on the floor, so I think it's this one. Um, you have the Nine of Pentacles here, Virgo, so this person's single. They are a single Pringle. 
uh, they might have their own business. Kind of looks like they're, yeah, queen of, <laughs> queen of pentacles here. Um, and the king of pentacles. So this is your perfect match coming in here. All right. Uh, <laughs> you may find when you meet this person, they have their own business. If you are dealing with a woman, you may find that they are a single mother. Uh, they're very good at their business. They're good at making money. You know, with the King of Wands, very charismatic, probably very good looking, um, but faithful, loyal. Maybe a team leader, manager, owning their own business kind of energy, especially with the, the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I would say this person is your, is your perfect match. You know, very practical, very nurturing. And they're, they're just kind of chilling and waiting for you. <laughs> you know, whether you've met this person or not, they're just kind of, they're just chilling, just doing their thing. You're both going to be very abundant, okay? Because I feel like maybe in the connection that you're in, yeah, Three of Swords, there was like heartbreak, maybe, you know, people pleasing. You were the one that was always giving, 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 you know? And it, the fact that you're going to be with another giver here, because of this two of cups, right? It's your perfect match. <laughs> you know, the king and the queen of pentacles, it's your perfect match. You know, you're both very stable, um, both very abundant, both very nurturing, very loving. It's gonna be a great match, Virgo. So, I wanna get some timing cards for you guys. Cause I did it, oh. I did it for Gemini. So any kind of timing of this, uh, this wanted to come out. Okay, Virgo, you have be assertive. So I know it's scary, right? Standing up for yourself and especially when people are so used to you just being a people pleaser, right? And being like, yes, I'll do that. That's fine. I'll take on that extra burden. You know, when you finally start standing up for yourself, people don't like it, right? But that is pretty key to identifying toxic people in your life. <laughs> if you start standing up for yourself and saying no and speaking your needs and people start getting annoyed, get them gone. <laughs> That's a clear cut sign. So it's time for you to like speak up for yourself. You know, you're allowed to do that Virgo. Okay, you're allowed to be happy. Your life doesn't exist just to serve other people, okay? So let's get some timing for, let's get some timing for this section because I think it's kind of up to you really. And it's, you know, like I said, people are going to be on different timelines here. Tell me about this, this ending. When is the ending going to happen? Any timing for this ending happening? You're just not gonna give us any cards? <laughs> oh shit Virgo, sorry I don't mean to swear but you have within the next few weeks. Now listen, I just wanna clarify, this is, this is to for something that's toxic, okay? If you're in a relationship and it's not toxic, it's not gonna be for you. Okay, this is for those of you who feel trapped. You've been in this relationship for a long time. You've been feeling trapped. You're just, you're staying in it to please other people, right? I see you leaving with, like, it's possible within the next few weeks, Virgo. Okay. Oh, shit. My camera's dying. Well, that's, uh, the, the battery's dying. That's, uh sign right there right as we're talking about endings the battery is going just let me apologies virgo i feel like the last few readings for virgo that i've done my camera battery has died and i feel like it's been when i've we've been talking about this ending um so it kind of looks like for some of you you may decide to end this within the next few weeks okay Okay, let's talk about, when is this happening?
Tell me about this Two of Cups happiness situation for Virgo. Is there a timing for this um, Two of Cups new love? You've listened to your intuition. Is there a timing situation for this? Two of Cups, like for this, this new person coming in for Virgo. That's a lot of cards. They might not give us it, Virgo. Um, is there a timing situation for this new love, this union with the new love for Virgo? Oh my God. Ah, that is good. Do you know what? That is crazy because there's only like three cards in this deck that talk about timing within the next few months. <laughs> so it looks like this connection that you're currently in that's toxic. I have to stress that only for those Virgos who are sitting here watching this being like, yes, this applies to me. Like I want to end a toxic relationship I'm in. You might choose to end it within the next few weeks. And then within the next few months, you're actually going to be in this new connection with this new person and you're going to be really, really happy. Wow. This is an intense reading, Virgo. So let's get some characteristics about this new person. Oh, look, the new person is a total sweetheart. They could be a Gemini. You might be dealing with a Gemini. They may have some Capricorn in their chart. Saucy. And I'm gonna stop there, taking from the bottom because see how it's in reverse now. That's how I know when to stop. So the new person may be very saucy, okay? You might be dealing with a Gemini uh, with some Capricorn in their chart. Oh, please get off the table. Okay, there we go. Um, but they're a total sweetheart, okay? So where the past took from you, the new person is going to be equal, okay? That's why you have this Ten of Cups and the Sun, like you're just going to be so happy together. Tell me about this new person for Virgo. This is a beautiful reading. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay, the new person may have dark hair. Uh, responsible. So see this Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles energy. You know, they're going to reflect you. They're also responsible like you. Um, what else about this new person for Virgo? What else about this new person for Virgo? They're intuitive. That's funny because that card came out for Gemini's new person. Oh, you like how Gemini. I swear, I think some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. But they're very intuitive. Um, that's what I was saying though, like Gemini's person was also intuitive so that would mean like you are also intuitive so you're both very good at like reading because you might both be empaths, you know, <laughs> which kind of makes you a target for this people pleasing like codependency stuff because often empaths attract narcissists. Um, so the new person is very driven. What else about this new person for Virgo, please? You have boss energy, athletic build. So they could be a boss, you know, they could own their own business or like be a, ma be a manager. There's something with money. I think for some of you, this person has, has like their own business or they have money. Like they're good at making money. Maybe not as good as you, because you're sh regardless of your gender, you're showing up as the king here, okay? And you know, regardless of the other person's gender, they're showing up as the king of wands. Um, so they're maybe a little more fiery than you, like not as practical and down to earth, but they're they're pretty close. And um, see, if they have Capricorn in their chart, they will be hardworking, you know, and driven and focused on like building material wealth and all this kind of stuff. Uh, they're very honest. 
What else about this new person for Virgo, please? What else about this um, new person for Virgo? Authentic. You have honest and you have authentic. I'm just going to get one more row. You have loyal. Damn, this is going to be a sweet connection, Virgo. You've basically found yourself, <laughs> but like in, you know, maybe, maybe a little less responsible because you do have some fire energy here. So there may be a little bit more, you know, like go, go, go kind of energy. Um, they're very loving. They seem to have a good mix though. That's a lot. Uh, let's get, okay, you have humble, like you, Virgo. Humble like you. And let's get one more. Oh, this one is upside down, uh, facing the wrong way up, like up, facing up. God, I can't talk. <laughs> um, gorgeous, this person's gorgeous. And you have caring at the bottom of the deck, so. Beautiful, Virgo. And you are allowed to be happy. I just want to reiterate that. Like, you should never feel, you know, I don't know, I, you know, you should never feel like you have to sacrifice your own happiness, like, for someone that takes advantage of you. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's, it's not, that's not love. You know, someone that just is happy to walk all over you and take, 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 and they don't care if you're happy, and they don't care if your needs are being met. That's not love. It's just someone really selfish, you know? So anyway. Anyway, uh, good luck with all of this, Virgo. Like, if you're ending a toxic connection in the next few weeks, be strong, okay? Because you have this beautiful new love coming in within the next few months. I think Spirit just wants you to see this. So it's like, okay, so I'm ending the, the toxic connection, but within the next few months, this beautiful new connection's coming in. So I hope it was a useful reading, Virgo. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it very much. And many blessings as always, Virgo. Love and light.